first story is a brand new Sony Bravia TV. Now, Sony, you know, whenever you say Sony and TV together, you know it's going to be pretty epic. But it's tough nowadays to live up to expectations, right? Let's see if this Sony Bravia TV is as good as they normally are. It was the summer of 2005 when Sony renamed its Vega series as Bravia. It always had a vision to be the one and only when it comes to audiovisual enhancements. No wonder Bravia stands for Best Resolution Audiovisual Integrated Architecture. In this competitive market where lesser known brands are offering jaw dropping features at a mouth watering price, how well does Sony Bravia X90K series fare? We tested the X90K 55 inch, and here is what we think of the product. The design philosophy of Sony is notoriously famous for its sleek, angular and minimalist approach. But the X90K is a bit dull to look at first sight. It hasn't changed a bit from the previous models. Maybe their idea is why change something that is perfect. Old movies and content shot in HD mode makes the cognitive processor XR upscale content from HD to UHD to 4K. The full array LED supports 4K, that's 3840 by 2160 pixels, and controls the backlight with a feature called local dimming. What this means is that the cognitive processor XR can predict which areas of the screen are dark, keeping them dimmed while keeping the bright parts of the screen bright. If it is a face, the processor makes the skin tones richer and more detailed. This has an almost bezel-less display out front and two stands that slide in through each side and handle the weight of the TV well. At 18.5 kg, Sony has kept it somewhat lightweight and provided with an adaptable stand which gives flexibility to position according to the sound system. The XR Triluminous Pro feature gives the X90K access to a wide array of colors, shades and hues with clever separation. We noticed when we played 4K videos, it quickly adapted to its colors and compositions. However, when we played scenes that were particularly dark, the graininess increased and the local dimming feature didn't improve in some instances. Some X90K was built for a dynamic gaming experience with HDMI 2.1 connectivity and adaptive refresh rate of 100 to 120 FPS. The auto low latency mode features of the Sony Bravia X90K allows it to recognize if and when a gaming console is connected and then intelligently shifts the TV to game mode. It consists of two down-firing 10W speakers and two tweeters taking up the sides of the TV. Together they deliver incredible sound. Two full range bass speakers ensure an audio output of 40 watts with a 360 degree surround sound experience. We loved toggling in and out of Dolby Atmos just to see how much of a difference does it really make. It was a pure pleasure to experience highly immersive visuals with brightness levels peaked and full support of Dolby Atmos and Dolby Vision. Watching Tom Holland on Netflix became uncannily real with Netflix calibrated mode. However, the input lag while gaming is at 8.5 milliseconds, enabling competitive gamers the upper hand. Since it is a smart TV, it is easily connected to Google TV. It is also Bravia Cam compatible and Apple AirPlay compatible along with Bravia's core app, which is filled with over 800 movies. In conclusion, we'd like to add that despite the certain setbacks we experienced, we were mighty impressed with certain features too, like the cognitive processor XR, which blends the images and colors of the images in such a way bright pictures is not strenuous in the eyes of the viewers, or the easy installation with an adaptable stand. However, as part of our home entertainment experience, we desire more. Priced at a lakh 23,490 rupees, Sony serves as the reminder of the rich history and its portfolio full of successful products, so we know it still has a lot of game. <laughs>